Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, I'm Jin Gianni, and Alice is with me again to demonstrate a very hard exercise. She's not happy about this, <laughs> but I'm going to give her a lot of help. So it's gonna be a little bit of a therapeutic jackknife at first, and we're gonna see how it goes. And this is a really good thing for the instructor to do because it, it teaches the um, client's spine what ideally we're looking for when they take over that control. All right, so Alice, the back of the head, the tops of the shoulders are anchored. She brings the knees into the chest, the legs lengthen. So from here, not putting any weight into the neck, she's gonna go into plow. And really think about middle of the back of the head, tops of the shoulders, and left armpit towards the left hip. Good, and then she's gonna rise up into her beautiful jackknife position, trying to keep her heels over her hips as much as possible. Now I got her feet, and she's gonna roll down. And I'm thinking about my body mechanics here as she goes down one segment at a time, and this gives her the ability to really concentrate on keeping the back of the head and the tops of the shoulders down, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do one more in that, that same version. And then Alice, move your hips over to the right a little bit. Yeah, so Alice wants to crunch a little bit in her left side, so just getting her even, and then come into plow, back of the head, tops of the shoulders, and then lifting up. Good, keep drawing that left inner thigh into the right. I have her feet, I'm bending my knees, and she's rolling down segmentally. Keep the length in your left side. There you go. Good, and all the way down, and rest. <laughs> all right, hug your knees into your chest. All right, so let's try something fun. She's not gonna like this, so I'm gonna <laughs> have her try to do it pretty much herself rolling down. She's going to try to keep her legs as forward as possible. It's not going to look like what we just did. I'm going to give her my thumbs into her heels to give her something to, to press into. All right, so I'm going to be on this side. So your arms go down. Move your hips a little bit to the right. Good. And you'll go into your plow, anchoring into the back of the head and the tops of the shoulders. And you lift the legs up. And you just do the best that you can coming down. Right, keep the head anchored. I'm just giving her a little bit of a tactile feedback on your heels. That was good, that was much better. Feel good? Mm -hmm. Okay, hug your knees. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Let us know if you have any questions. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.